Welcome to the Chelsea Fans Channel. Uh, it's January, so Happy New Year. And the fact that it's January means that the transfer window is open. That means it's time for the very first edition of the Transfer Talk. Uh, we're going to do our best to talk you through all of the latest transfer news that could be coming our way. Um, but first, I think the only place to start is yesterday at Crystal Palace. We were magnificent. Everything was fantastic. The stadium was beautiful. It's such good ground. Great. The atmosphere in there was brilliant. And most importantly, the 11 on the pitch were marvellous. Wasn't it good? Uh, it was one of the best games all season, mate. A nice 3-0 win to get us going in the new year. And uh, yeah, couldn't have asked for uh, a better Sunday, really. Yeah, it was fantastic. The atmosphere in there was brilliant as well. The Chelsea support, I think we had about 3,000 fans there. It really was great. So, we started the new year as we mean to go on. Let's hope that we can continue. Um, obviously, when Mourinho was manager, he suggested that there wouldn't be any incomings in the January transfer window. Uh, Mourinho's not the manager anymore. And we think that, we you know, we've been talking to a few people and there could be uh, some light at the end of this tunnel uh, to really galvanise and strive forward and hope to reach uh, the top four. Yes. What are you hearing, Jack? A uh, word on the street that I'm hearing, Rory, is uh, Alex Tashira. It's a name that's been floating around for a while. And uh, as we know, he's the Shakhtar Donetsk uh, sort of attacking midfield. I think he can also play as a forward. And he's banged 22 goals in already this season. Um, we are missing some, some dynamite firepower like that. Yeah. Um, so. Uh, and I also believe that our, our friends William and Oscar, being fellow compatriots, uh, Brazilians, uh, have been in his ear um, him convincing up. him to uh, get work. his way to the Bridge. Ed. Yeah, well, obviously William would know him well because they, would, they, they were in the Ukraine at the same time. So exactly uh, right. hopefully he's been whispering and telling him how wonderful life is in West London. Oh, West London. Yeah, it's it's wonderful. Really <laughs> um, so yeah, that would be uh, that would be great. Yep. Um, we'd have him. We'd have him in blink of an eye, wouldn't we? Yes. I mean, it's another potentially in another attacking midfielder, an area that we we are embarrassed with riches by. It. Not that they've been playing to their full yeah. potential this year, and. In, in one sense, we're hearing that Oscar may be instrumental in bringing this guy into Stamford Bridge, but then I've also been reading today that Oscar may be used as a make-weight in order for Chelsea to, if we're going to spend big in the January um, window, I'm hearing that Oscar could be sold for big money in order for us to get some big money in to then go and get the Chelsea checkbook out and spend again. I can't see that. I mean, I know that, that Oscar has often been mentioned as a player who could depart Stamford Bridge, but I genuinely can't see that one happening. He's coming into his own a bit more last few games, hasn't yeah, he? Yeah, he's scored, scored at Palace. Uh, I think that he's a really, really good player and we'd be mad to let him go, so I really can't see that one uh, coming Agreed. off. Which is, uh, Should we have like a news? stamp? Yes. If we agree with it or not. Yes, agreed, yeah. Oscar's going nowhere. Done. <laughs> um, so what, I'm also here that our forward players, Remy Bamford, they could be off. Yes, uh, as we know, Bamford um, has back from his loan spell, his disastrous loan spell at Crystal Palace. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, it, total, total news to me actually that Remy's name is being floated about as someone who's potentially going to be off in January. I think we're so, we're so lacking in strikers at the moment, in our squad in general, yeah. uh, that to, to, to ship any more off at the moment before we get any new ones in is a little bit worrying. Yeah, I, I agree. I think that Remy... I rate him so highly every time he plays he seems to score but I don't know what he does in training because no manager yeah. seems to fancy him. I really don't understand it because I think that he's such a naturally gifted forward and arguably the most natural finisher, <coughs> arguably sure. the most natural finisher at the club. But if he's not getting game time you can understand why he'd want to leave. I, I would like Remy to stay. Bamford I think needs another loan deal yep. so I'd be keen to see him get another Premier League loan deal and actually get some minutes because I'm convinced he'd score goals if he gets them. But Remy I think we need to keep hold of. If anything we need to add a striker, not, not a new one. Um, yeah. Anything on that in that department? Um, uh, there's, um, I may not pronounce this right, so correct me if I'm wrong in oh, the I'll comments. Oh, I'll you, shall I? Is it Umar Niasi? Uh, it's exactly the one. <laughs> the locomotive Moscow lad. Yes, uh, and all I know about him is he's 25 years old, he's from Senegal, uh, and he, he knows where the back of the net is. He's scored quite a few already this season. 12, uh, tw 12 goals in 21 games. Right, and, and he'd be a very affordable option. I think it's rumoured to be around 7 to 8 million. So yes, that would be... mm, but is that just going to be another example of some, uh, I don't know, like... I, I don't know I, enough I about can't... him, I haven't seen enough Locomotive Moscow action this year. Neither have I, but, but scoring I... goals in the Locomotive Moscow League, well, it depends, so I presume it's it? really I mean, the Russian I... League, yeah. and scoring goals in the Premier League, yeah. arguably, is, is uh, two different things, I don't know. To, you know how that's, I say that in all seriousness. Um, you'd have to trust our scouts to do the job there, and um, he's thought of very highly. So yeah. it's not one that uh, it's not one that I would be anti at all. There is something that I would be very anti though, and that is mm. the news that Branislav Ivanovic is coming to the end of his contract. He's only got six months left, and AC Milan have been sniffing around him, and I will be distraught if we don't tie him up for another year. 
I think that he, I appreciate that his form this year has not been good enough, but you need players like him around the club. It was the mm. fact that we lost Petr Cech and Didier Drogba uh, last year that led to this season being such a catastrophe. You need big players around the dressing room. You know, people can talk about the amount of forward passes or the amount of um, crosses that fail or whatever. But how do you quantify mm. his input in the dressing room? His, his the He's way that the younger players look yeah. up to him. He's done it all. So I think that we need him around the club. That's not to say that I don't think we need reinforcements there or need another right back. Yeah. Or I don't even necessarily think that he should be playing all the time. But I think we need him around the club. So I'd be very keen if we can get him sewn up. What a man. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, there. Uh, that's the end of our rooms, I think. That's the end for today. So guys, comment below. Let us know exactly what you think. And uh, what if, if anybody could actually shed a bit of light on Umar Niasi, I'd be very interested to hear it. Yep. And obviously comment on all of the others. Uh, Teixeira is the most exciting one. So yeah, comment below. Let us know what you think. Go on your blues. Out your blues. They say football's a funny old game. And 2015, for any Chelsea fan, was a funny old year. So this is my top five highlights of 2015.